What's up everybody, it's your boy Neem here. Uh, you may be wondering what that box is behind me. Um, and it's actually this. Um, back in 2020 and, you know, 2018 and 2019, I guess, um, I listened to a podcast called Hello Internet, um, which was hosted by CGP Grey, um, the YouTuber, and Brady Heron, the YouTuber who makes Number File and Computer File and Objectivity and all those channels of his. Um, and yeah, for one episode, they did a vinyl episode. This is the reprinting. Um, they had it on like an original version and it had a more of an orangish like 70s look, but then in 2020 they had a reprint and it was the Mount Doom edition. Um, and I had been listening to the backlog, however, um, and I had been listening to the backlog, but by the time they were talking about the Mount Doom edition, I was listening to the episodes like as they came out. Um, and so I got it, you know, back in 2020, um, and it was really cool. So um, here it is. I muted my mic because there's some background noise and I don't really want the background noise. Like, I don't like to be super silent in my videos because you can very obviously hear the background noise. Uh, but it's really, really cool. And I've been a fan of these guys for a long time. Sadly, there hasn't really been an episode since 2020. Um, a lot of the stuff in Hello Internet had to do with real life. And because of, you know, um, COVID happening, uh, they couldn't really talk about very much real life stuff, and so they went on a, they're calling it a hiatus, but I don't know if that's real. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. It's just a vinyl episode of a podcast, and they thought that would be funny, because, you know, they're very utilitarian folks, and they found the idea of um, vinyl anything rather funny, and this is when vinyl was coming back in a big way. Uh, when they originally talked about this and they were like sort of as an ironic gesture um they're like hey we should um make a vinyl episode anyway so uh the reason why i'm mentioning this now uh i talked about when i got it back in 2020 but the reason why i'm mentioning this now is because um uh what the reason why i'm mentioning this now is because uh, we're going through our basement and we're cleaning it out and we're organizing it and I sort of been wondering where this was it sort of just disappeared I remember giving it to my parents because I didn't really trust myself with keeping it safe um, which honestly I might put this back downstairs um, but you know my dad has always said he knew where it was but it never really mattered enough for me to find out but you know um, I woke up oh my sister taking a shower um, I woke up this morning, you know, pretty early, and, uh, you know, I exercised. I actually burned 1,100 calories on the treadmill. Um, and, you know, I had nothing really to do today, um, as opposed to next week where I'm working. Um, and it was, uh, as opposed to tomorrow where I'm working. And so um, I basically just talked to my, um, uh, I was just helping my dad downstairs um, like organize Wii remotes and stuff, and we ended up, it ended up just coming up, and I was like, hey, what about this, what about this vinyl record, there's this stuff on it. There are like these weird hairs on it, but I don't really want to touch the record too much. But, um, uh, 
It's really cool. Something funny on this record is a fine print at the bottom that says freebooting of this record is prohibited. Uh, something funny about Hello Internet is how it, uh, how sort of culturally prolific it was, despite being a rather small podcast. Um, and one of the big terms that they made very popular was freebooting. Um, before Hello Internet, uh, freebooting uh, wasn't a popular term. And after Hello Internet, I see freebooting pretty regularly. And whenever I see um, freebooting online, I know it was like an astroturfed term from Hello Internet. And they all sort of did, you know, it was sort of a psyops type show, and it, it was very, it was very uh, entertaining uh, because of that. And it made you feel like you were part of something, you know, and it, it was really cool. You can't see it, but right there in my corner, I have a big Hello Internet flag. They were really into vexillology, um, vexiology or something, Vexil vexiology, um, like flags. And uh, this was back before everybody on Twitter thought flag reform was cringe. Um, so they made like a cool like nail and gear flag. It looked vaguely Soviet and it was actually the design was from Originally a Soviet parody of the flag, but you know, they made the background gray Just look up hello internet flag look up hello internet flag. You'll see what I'm talking about It's like a gear. There's a nail going through the gear. You'll know what I'm talking about. Oh, it's actually this symbol It's it's upside down It's it's the flag with this symbol in the blue um but, yeah, shout out Hello Internet. Okay, I gotta put this back now. I don't know how vinyl records work, <laughs> so that's why that took so long, but yeah, it's really cool. Um, I'm really happy I own it. Despite it only being like $40, I didn't really have much money before I got a job um, in 2020. Uh, so It's just really cool. I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful uh, day. Oh, I woke up at around 5.30. Uh, I started exercising at 6. I walked, I think, 7 miles. I burned 1,100 calories. Then I came upstairs. I had a bagel and a Hot Pocket and a banana and a smoothie and a piece of dark chocolate. That was pretty good. And then I didn't really have anything for lunch, but then for dinner I had a steak sandwich, and that was really tasty uh, from our leftover steak yesterday for Father's Day. Um, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful day. And um, yeah, see you, dude.